Hello everybody, I am Ember, and welcome back to Dragon Adventures, where today, of course, as we're cycling through, we are with Tyler, our shy dragon, who, as we have spoken um, a lot of since, like, episode 2, is considering leaving, but not right now. He has made it clear, though, that he will leave the clan whenever, like, more space is needed. Like, if there's, if, like, the clan is tight for room, if there's, like, ten dragons and they feel like somebody needs to leave, he has already determined that he's going to be the one to step out. Even though his bud, Stormwatcher, definitely does not want him to. And... Yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Now, of course, Knight is more like, okay, we need to get money for the clan. We need to keep it funded. We need to keep everyone feeded. Feeded. Fed. <laughs> fed. Fed. I know English most of the time. Usually. Um, and Stormwatcher is like, okay, we need to... Well, he's not too concerned about finding eggs anymore. He's mostly like, okay... Um, we just need to keep the mother dragons happy. Unlike both of them, Tyler doesn't really have goals. He kind of just does whatever he feels like. Um, flies around. And you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that if Tyler had a mate, it might give him some reason to stay. Even if he is very shy. But because he is shy, it might actually be difficult for him to get a mate. Especially seeing as, like, any dragon that joins will, like, most likely be much younger. Well, not much younger. But, like, a lot younger than he is. Since, uh... They will be most likely hatched into the clan. Because I really doubt anyone's just going to be, like... Hey, Ember, have a free dragon. And even then, like, it'd be kind of weird unless they watched me. Because it's like, okay, there'd have to be some roleplay aspect. Like, where did this dragon come from? They just sort of joined the clan randomly? I don't know. So, I mean, if you guys want to have your own clans and kind of, like, play along and you see me and you want to, like continue your side of the story kind of alongside mine, then cool. I'm down for that. That'd be cool. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know, like, what I'm saying any time. Like, not now, no. I'm just kind of, like, talking to talk because I have 15 minutes to talk, and I don't know what I'm saying because I'm still not used to, like, having to talk even though there's, like, no one in the room. It's just me and my computer and my microphone. And I know I do have some viewers. Like, maybe. <laughs> like, I currently have two subscribers. So, I mean, hi, guys. If you're watching, you're great. But, like, other than that, like, I don't know you. For all I know, you could have just, like, subscribed just so that way you could, like comment and sort of like be there and like not actually watch my video i mean i don't know i'd be like hey i can give you free stuff and it's like no thank you the guy like, can give you some rare dudes i thought i said i had another account i'm sorry man <laughs> for like calling anyone out like that i don't know why it's just what came to my mind, and I guess whenever you're a YouTuber, you kind of have to say whatever first comes to your mind, so we could fill, I mean, fill what? Yeah, fill, fill. So you can fill this empty void of silence that would be there otherwise. And I don't know. There's not, this is not really a game where, like, a lot happens that you can commentate on. You just kind of play. And I like that. Except it makes it a kind of difficult game to record unless you're showing people how to do something or being like, oh, look, I'm so cool. Okay, bow to the mother. Bow to the mother. Okay, great. 
Uh, pff, run into a tree, apparently. See, even Tyler, shy little Tyler here. I say little, but he's literally the same size as every other dragon we have right now. But even he knows to bow to the mother dragons, and even he will not hesitate to do it. All hail the mother dragons. I imagine that, like, once you get to the ocean, and you have, like, some sharks and leviathans in the clan, I think that some of them might question the authority of the mothers. But I feel like the majority of them would still comply. I don't know. I feel like a more interesting story will happen once you get to, like, the ocean. But until then, it's... Or, like, the PvP worlds. Because that's when dragons will really start, like, dying. As they get attacked in, like, the jungle and the volcano and the desert. And it'd be rough. And the clan will, like, actually feel some losses. And that's just how it will be. Like, I kind of appreciate that you guys are sticking around to, like, watch this. Because I can't imagine how boring I must be. <laughs> but, you know, it's all good. Because this is a game where you can kind of relax and fly around on a dragon. And just, like, have fun. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. But do any of us... I say that all the time. You guys know I don't know what I'm doing because I've said it so much. And now you're going to have to, like, keep a counter of how many times I said that, like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay. So Tyler's just going around doing what he wants, collecting things. Oh. And then, like, also fighting off some monsters. Uh, not very efficiently. Okay. I, like, seriously need to be really careful not to lose anyone. Because, I mean, holy cow, we're just in the grassland. This isn't even a PvP world. And we only have three dragons. And... Oh my goodness. If Tyler left, I don't know if Stormwatcher would want to stay. Because he doesn't really have strong relations with Knight. Like, he's only really spoken to Knight canonically once. <laughs> like, as far as that's proven in the series. So, I don't know. He's not really very um, connected to Knight. So if Tyler left, he might also be like, you know what? I'm leaving. And then kind of ruin the clan unless Knight can manage to find another egg before... Stormwatcher leaves. I don't know. It's really... We don't want to lose Tyler. We really don't want to lose Stormwatcher because I'd say that Stormwatcher probably has the most character out of them so far. Like Stormwatcher is a fun dragon to play with just because he has the strongest motivations out of any of them. Even though he's like the youngest and has... Actually, he might have the strongest ties to the clan, because he was born, I mean, technically, uh, so was Tyler. But Stormwatcher was born into the clan, and there were already, like, some pretty, like, grown-up dragons in it. So, I don't know. I'm also, like, trying to keep an eye out for eggs. Because, again, we want to have, like, a female fairly soon. So we can have, like, a mating pair. So that way we, there's a reliable way for the clan to grow. And also, like, hopefully the stories get faster paced from there as we have more dragons to work with. You know. And I don't want to go to, like, the jungle or any other PvP area until we have, like... A mating pair. So, yeah. We're leaving it at that. And we're probably going to be in the grassland for a while. Unless we manage to afford, like, the tundra. Before we even find a female. Which, I mean, yeah, okay. That'd work. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm tired. Because I've been trying to, like, record as many episodes as I could today. Because... As I've mentioned in, like, a previous video, I don't even know what series I said it in. It could be in literally any video I've uploaded to this point. 
except like the, the first okay anything I've uploaded today it could be in but I want to record as much as I can because school is going to start up again soon it's currently winter break for me and I actually have a job I have a lot of difficult classes that I need to study for and I have a bunch of homework every night that usually keeps me up until at least like 12 so I will not have the time to record so I want to like have as much for you guys as possible which means that like yes like a lot of these series are weekly like as you've probably noticed I've been planning on okay I'm gonna upload Lumia and like Cena's Lock on Tuesday and then Dragon Adventures on Thursday and then Friday would be a random Roblox and I currently don't have anything set for any other day uh... I don't know I just don't have anything else yet like I was considering doing Sims which I think would be interesting um... kind of fitting the style of this uh, Monsters of Etheria I've been considering, um, Shard Seekers, <sighs> what else, Feed Your Pets, games like that I've been considering making a series of, but again, I don't have the time for it, which is why I'm not making any effort to make like super good quality YouTube videos, I'm just sort of doing whatever I'm doing whenever I want to. And, you know, I think that works with you guys, because you guys are perfectly fine without me. Like, I am no one special. I'm just kind of here. If you're, like, super bored, or I'm, like, the only YouTuber that's recording something that you want to watch, or at least recording a decent series of it. That is a shark. Hello, shark. I actually have some ideas from shark, because it's something I did with, um, my, like, main account. And basically, in my account, I did also have a kind of story thing that I was playing through my head. And it actually had to do with, like, there being a bunch of different races. And each of the races, like, it seemed more like Wings of Fire. Uh, we're like, okay, all of these different kinds of dragons are, like, well, I'd say different tribes, but there's a lot of, like, interbreeding just because that's just, like, the easiest way to do things. Mothers are still, like, sort of royalty, except not as much so. But, like, the sharks, they were, at the time, uh, the best dragon in the game. So, I was like, okay, they're sharks. They're really strong. They're going to be, like, PvP-based dragons. Okay, bow to the mother. Okay, who now left. Um, but basically, they each had titles. And their title would, uh, like their rank or whatever, would go up for however many dragons they have killed in the PvP world. Which means that if, like, you ever saw me the shark dragon, I was, like, the meanest, the meanest person in that server. Because everyone else is trying to farm them, like, ooh, that's a, a free kill for this dragon right here, and they can rank up. And also, it was like, I don't know, it kind of justified what I was doing in my mind, because even though it's a PvP server, I kind of feel bad for killing people who are just farming, even though they should, like, completely expect it. <sighs> Which is why I'm so nervous to, like, bring these guys into the PvP world, because I know that people can go into, like, the jungle and stuff, with mothers and hydras and lizards and, uh, leviathans, sharks, yeah. It'd be scary. It'd be really scary. I want to see if I can, like, bow to the mother. It's baby mother, but bow to the baby mother anyway, because baby mothers are still really wise, and they're still royalty. Oh, there's a tree. I just ran into it. I'm going to see if I can find egg before I have to end this episode, but it doesn't look like it. So, I will see all of you guys in the next video. And, yeah, goodbye.